the SAHRC started holding uh, the water and sanitation hearings. Um, what prompted your office to take up this issue? Uh, you, you will remember we first conducted an investigation uh, in Makassa, a township in Cape Town, where they had unclosed uh, toilets and uh, we made a finding there. And that was followed by another investigation in, uh, in the Free State, Makassa, Makassa location. So that uh, sh revealed that there must be a systemic problem and we suspected that it, it cannot only be Cape Town and Free State that uh, are affected. And one of our recommendations uh, in the Makasa finding was that uh, the Minister of uh, Housing and Human Settlement must make an assessment country-wise to give an indication of all the areas where, for instance, they still have bucket system and also to give us a program of action indicating how long will it take them before they eradicate the bucket system. Yeah. And in the process, we decided to choose water and sanitation as our main focus, human right point, that we're going to rally around uh, for, for the 2012-2013 year. And we decided to conduct an investigation countrywide, and we went to all the nine provinces where we conducted the hearing to get mm. uh, more information, evidence around uh, water and sanitation. Let's talk about <coughs> some of these findings now. What, 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 what stood out for you? I, I think what, what stood out uh, most is that uh, there is still a much bigger challenge in the country in terms of uh, uh, sanitation in particular. Uh, particularly that uh, in many of the schools, many people who came to make presentations to us uh, graphically you know, told us how difficult it is, particularly for school children uh, during their menstrual period where there's completely no toilet at school and that it was affecting children's attendance at school. Yeah. You can imagine when that happens and there's no toilet there. And uh, some of these children are very poor because uh, it is usually in far-flung schools in rural areas that are directly affected. Yeah. That, that was the most uh, touching one. But at the same time, it was also very bad to note that uh, 19 years into democracy, we still have areas where there are bucket system. I know we even walked around the uh, Kayalisha where we also went and saw some some of the bucket systems in there, you know, and uh, also taking some time before they were collected. It was, it was just a very bad sight. Mm. And what is even worse is that uh, where this is happening is more prevalent, is the former Bantustans, you know, as you know, the township in particular, where only blacks are resident, blacks and the poor, and uh, in the rural area. Yeah. I, it's absolutely devastating what you're telling me because I almost feel like sometimes the situation is downplayed by government, that they, you know, we, we, we're on top of it, we're getting to the bottom of it, we're going to eradicate the system, but it, it's still there. And it, and, it's, and it appears that it is, it, it's, it's more evident than, mm. than we are led to believe. Is this just what I'm gathering from you, or is that a fact? I, I think it is a fact. Uh, imagine, for instance, you go to areas where you have disabled persons, where the toilet is not suited for a disabled person, and you yeah. ask yourself a question, what happens to, to, to those people? Because there's no provisions for, for, for such people in such in such yeah. area. It's one of the badly affected uh, yeah. uh, sector of our community. I, I just I know before I, I let you go, I know the um, Magaka municipality's failure to appear before the commission over enclosed toilets is also an issue. Do you have an update for us on this? Y yes, uh, they immediately the following day, they, they wrote to us apologizing profusely for failing to come. Uh, I may say that even our subpoena was a little bit uh, uh, sent to them very late. Yeah. And there were, in fact, officials from the, from the municipalities uh, who attended. 
and they apologized and they have already submitted the report. Okay. All right, good. Yes, yes. All right, so it's moving forward. Yes. Um, Advocate, thank you very much for talking thank to us. You, I know there's so you. much more to talk about, but yes. unfortunately we have to leave it there for this morning. Okay. Advocate uh, Lawrence Mushwan, who is the chairperson of the South African Human Rights Council. Uh, talking Commission. To us. Commission, thank you. Thank you for the correction. Okay. Uh, talking to us here on Morning Live about uh, water and sanitation and the status in South Africa. Not that good, unfortunately.